in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I just feel we should pray this prayer in one minute i don't know what area listen greatness is a summation of excellence in many facets of your life some of us may be doing well in one area may be doing well in another area find the area where you know you cannot say you are experiencing greatness in and in one minute cry to god and say lord visit me in this area go ahead pray with all your heart Lord, you have granted me access to revelations. I thank you. Step in over my finances. Lord, you have helped me in the area of my finances, but my spiritual life is crushing to pieces. Grant me grace. You have granted me access to revelations, but my mind, my mind is barren. I need a miracle in my mind. Increase my capacity, understanding. make sure you are praying this is the miracle service many of the challenges that we have in our lives are dependent on these things whether you are standing whether you are at the window whether you are everywhere following online just go ahead and connect don't allow the little inconveniences to distract you it's a very serious prayer everyone that asketh receiveth lord increase my greatness increase my greatness comfort me increase my greatness for the sake of my family members increase my greatness for the sake of the gospel increase my greatness for the sake of the ministry the church you have committed increase my greatness for the sake of the lost souls millions billions of them increase my greatness for the sake of having your purposes preserved within a territory hallelujah praise the lord are we blessed let me just talk about one key there are many but for tonight just to add to what i've shared just one key that can help us grow in greatness greatness is a system remember that the kingdom of god operates on mysteries and systems say after me mysteries say after me systems the kingdom of god is systemic god never does the same thing twice when he does a thing once he creates a system around it for continuity are we together he never created the plants and the animals twice he did it once and put a seed in it for reproduction he made one man one woman never to make another one again are we together there is a system so if your life is to excel it must be built on systems if your life is built on miracles as much as you are going to receive them miracles are a sign that something went wrong and the sovereignty of god is intervening to correct we were never designed to live off miracles listen very carefully if you live off miracles you will live a frustrated life we live off principles we live off the systems of the kingdom the systems of god create predictability they are an attestation to his justice the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne never mistake a miracle to mean that's how god wants it to continue a miracle is a stepping in of god to correct something that shouldn't be you are working properly when your life is systemic are we together first corinthians chapter 4 please give us verse 1 and verse 2 let's talk about just one key here faithfulness see after me faithfulness second corinthians chapter 4 it says let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ paul is speaking now 
and stewards paul uses a very interesting language not not owners he calls them stewards the word steward is the word caretaker caretakers of the mysteries of god number two he says moreover it is required in stewards if it is true that you are a steward there is a requirement and he says moreover it is required in stewards that a man whoever says he is a steward must exhibit a character called faithfulness faithfulness he says must be found faithful there are many people who may never rise beyond their current levels of influence their current financial level their levels of the anointing of revelation because they have other things but they lack this quality faithfulness in the kingdom you grow it looks simple but write it in the kingdom you grow and jesus grew in wisdom jesus grew in stature jesus grew in favor with god and with men we live in a time where we admire people's results every time we see uncommon results whether in the area of the anointing the demonstration of the spirit revelations influence etc every time we see that people are stepping into unusual levels of grace we don't admire the process we rather admire the results hallelujah i see people come to me and i know they are well-meaning and they just kneel down and say sir double portion of your anointing and i said look at what this guy is asking are we together it looks like a very that's why some of you came here probably to get a double portion the mother of james and john came to jesus and said jesus i have a request on behalf of my two sons you've been seeing them you 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 see how faithful they have been in your ministry would you grant because the way you are going you are going to overthrow caesar would you grant that when all is said and done let my kids sit at your left and right and jesus looked at her he never said it's an impossible request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism two things one works internally the other one works externally but both must happen to qualify you the seat is vacant but can you drink this one is not a gift it's a reward are we together now one of the requirements is faithfulness there are pastors who will never rise beyond certain membership barrier because they are not faithful god gives you three members you look at them and feel they are not relevant at all are we together oh these members are not serious you are three all of you are broke none of you is smart none of you is working i'm the one who pays your transport what kind of useless membership is this and god is watching and then you admire another church with choice uh what do we call it choice membership this one is working in oil company i said these, these are the kind of members and we we have the effrontery to go back to the secret place and cry that god will find a way of drawing those people from that church to bring it to our church and god says look at this the kind of believers that are being produced within this region no understanding it is required in stewards in men of god in business people in young people in students in whatever dimension of life that you be faithful listen very carefully be faithful be faithful never follow a man who does not have a track record of growth you are only wasting your time no matter how flamboyant the results are it's a mirage anybody who stumbles into financial prosperity is joking is joking i repeat is joking anybody who just stumbles into the anointing is still joking anybody who stumbles into revelation is joking there must be a track record in life your track record is what gives value to your current stature faithfulness here's what jesus has to say about this luke chapter 16 please give us verse 10 to 12 jesus is teaching here luke chapter 16 10 to 12 
he says he that is faithful listen now jesus is teaching here it was the the parable of of the unjust servant whose master was about to banish him and he went to reduce the bills for several people so that when he was banished he would now rush to them and jesus is using the opportunity to teach us something here that he that is faithful in that which is least is what he didn't say will be is already i can know whether you qualify for your next level in life by what you are doing with the current level is faithful also in much and he that is unjust please go back to verse 10 he that is unjust in the least is also unjust in much next verse 11 if therefore ye have not been faithful he's speaking in the context of resources now in unrighteous mammon your naira and kobo he says who will commit to you the true riches you know what the true riches are things that money cannot buy but can buy money true riches money itself is a commodity there is something that buys it true riches are you getting what i'm saying now in our world today if you have money you can buy everything but god is saying that money itself like you sell phones money is a product too there is something that can buy it it's called true riches so when god tests you let me tell you what this is saying let me use um let me bring out a thousand naira look at this this is one thousand naira do you know god can arrange favor come pastor femi i can see him already warming up to be a very can i mean look at the see how sharp he's looking praise the lord now watch this do you know that in your walk with god a time can come god can just open a door for you hundred thousand comes you are not rich this is unrighteous mammon he's testing you you are rich when he gives you what can buy this you are not rich if you have this this, this is nonsense anything can happen set this on fire you can't pack the ashes to court and say this was one thousand true riches is what can buy this product not shoe buy this this one so he's watching you and he gives you this and you are not faithful in it you misuse it you waste it the kingdom does not benefit from it he says no there is an anointing i can give you that will bring this you have not qualified i tested you with this and you failed are we together god can bring a relationship come god can bring a relationship to your life that you know you didn't even qualify for it is a test you misuse that relationship you take advantage of the people and you don't even max you don't value them and then all of a sudden you cannot be given the true riches that can buy greater relationships faithfulness is a powerful spiritual quality powerful spiritual quality many people are not faithful that's why they pray they fast oh god drive fast seven days 40 days lord give me more anointing give me this give me that and then one day god leads you to one old woman and god says take care of this woman your destiny is to walk in the healing ministry but he won't start by giving you the healing anointing he will start by creating compassion in you take care of this old woman and say oh god this old woman how much will i get from this woman i need something that i will shine so that from that shining to be on youtube and then it will be on all the social media platforms and up i go and god says you see that there's no faithfulness and while that is happening god is watching one young lady somewhere taking care of the woman mama are you okay and she's she's writing her promotion exams through faithfulness she may not know but she's walking herself to a realm of the anointing one day she'll finish taking care of that woman and say father thank you for the privilege my mother was never alive for me to be able to take care of her but thank you for giving me such an old woman and the heavens are open over that young lady a strange anointing comes upon her 
two years later that lady is walking in a dimension of the healing anointing that nobody can explain and people criticize where did this girl come from from nowhere i've told you there's nobody that comes out from nowhere that you are not aware of the training does not mean they were not trained there is nobody that comes out of nowhere it's a lie when you are in the cave of adulam it's a lonely place when you manifest people say aha this person is lucky no there's no luck in this thing is god speaking to us many of us god trusted us with finances we were not faithful many of us today if i tell you lift your prayer request now you will see prayer point one breakthrough prayer point two financial rest prayer point three financial favor it's still the same thing you are writing just different versions so that however god wants to answer it he should just answer it are we together lord increase in membership did you know while i was praying i was already set to come the rain started all i was doing i i found tears coming out of my eyes because i was thinking i said my god my god this these people now how 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 do we manage these people but many of you ah, they've come let them come you know you are the superstar when you think like that you will never rise don't forget that men may not know why you are looking at this but there is a god who has the all-seeing eye that looks at you and knows that this man of god should not rise are we together many of us want resources as i've lifted this one thousand now many of you have been looking at it you are not even hearing me again listen you are not faithful if you are faithful is proof that you are a steward can god give you this and say let me have it back and you say lord it's yours it's proof of faithfulness lord after all it came from you i i you took me from nowhere soaking gary if you have given me this if you make a demand it goes there are many of you once your hands hold it it's only a need a secular need that will release it the voice of god has no right to make you release this and then you want lots of it and we keep joking that we are having dreams and seeing god is not stupid this system is very orderly once your heart is not with god you won't find anything are we together i've shared this story here once upon a time in this area then nobody knew me nobody i was invited to go and minister somewhere and just like it rained very heavily tonight i had prepared fasted prepared to go there and then the rain started and the people were expecting me and that time there was no protocol to come put umbrella etc all of these formalities that was how i i rolled my sleeves rolled my trouser and held my bible i started praying in tongues in the rain lord don't mind me being soaked just bless your people if your people are blessed i am satisfied are we together now i remember going there and then to make matters worse the church didn't even make arrangement for umbrella to receive me it was then steve strings who saw me from outside and collected he was also invited he collected an umbrella to run go and receive me outside when i came in they asked me to wait they had to shift some people in front to create space for me to come and sit down it looked painful it looked ego stinging but it was a test of faithfulness can you be faithful even when your reputation is being insulted not everybody will insult your reputation keep forbearing with those who don't value you then you will qualify for those who can value you there are some of you today you will go to minister somewhere they will disrespect you some of you are intelligent business people surrounded by those who have no value keep at what you are doing you will come to a point where god will bring you to people who can recognize the grace you carry and my goodness happy are you when you enter that season in your life where you are surrounded by those who have a recognition of what you carry and will be willing to bless my life was not always like this this ministry was not always like this 
the first crusade you see crowds everywhere and we're happy many of you who follow me on facebook or follow follow the ministry uh, on facebook and follow what we are doing and you know all the crowds and the things that happen when every time i travel many people just see it and think it's just because he's anointed it's not just because i'm anointed with all humility what you are seeing is a product of many years of faithfulness i've shared with you our first crusade it never you see the secrets of men are in their stories don't just hear the story discern the message are we together i told you about our first crusade i think we're about 20 or so the entire crusade ground i'm not sure we're up to 50 the first crusade we prayed fasted organized when it was time to pray for the sick the whole team had the opportunity one-on-one -on -one. it was a test of faithfulness many of us do not want to start small as a student you want to wear the same cloth with a bank manager and so you open your gate wide for a devourer to come and rubbish your life and keep punishing you are we together there are men of God who start in ministry. Everybody they see is their colleague. Take it easy. Move gradually. No, I'm anointed. If not because of condition. Don't I have a better revelation than Kenny? And God keeps you there. Say, stay there. I just caught a new revelation. There's nobody to hear you because there is no track record. You can look at a pastor who doesn't seem to have any serious revelation and wonder why God keeps him there. Faithfulness all he may say is god bless you god lift you god anoint you and then you are there in your pride and arrogance i just finished pieces in the book of ephesians and you will remain there for many years is god speaking to us never be ashamed of the track record of faithfulness lord this is the level of grace that you have given me i am happy i am proud of it lord you have given me the anointing to clean chairs i know that you have called me to be an apostle to the nations but in this season my assignment is to clean chairs i receive the grace to do it faithfully not just to clean chairs and say kai oh god if not just people me cleaning chairs and god says that's it you see that and you'll never rise everybody say faithfulness say it again faithfulness matthew chapter 25 we're going to read three verses 21 23 and 29 thank you matthew 25 we're reading 21 23 and we're reading 29 i just want to show you something and then we'll begin to pray this was the parable of the talents five two and one talent and this to the one who had five his lord said unto him after being faithful he said well done good and what faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things let me show you how greatness happens in the kingdom thou hast been faithful over a few things what's your reward i will make thee ruler over many things when you are promoted in the kingdom many things happen to you one the anointing upon your life is multiplied number two your operation becomes easy number three god expands your self-influence to cause more people to hear your voice is a product of faithfulness you have been faithful over a few things i gave you a teaching anointing and i did not give you an anointing for miracles and you were not ashamed to teach the people as best as you knew to every time they ask you man of god why is it that we don't see miracles in your life be patient i'm coming i'm not ashamed to say god is bringing me there for now is the teaching grace he has given me i will teach i will make bible study notes and god is saying this is a man who will not only be a good shepherd he will be a good manager of my anointing and one day that man comes to a meeting and all of a sudden an impartation comes upon him the dimension that has been absent is now supplied by the spirit he goes back not just as a teacher but as a worker of miracles 23 to the man with the two talents he said his lord said unto him well done good and faithful servant same thing thou has been faithful over a few things so it's not the size of what you were given the same commendation 
I will make thee ruler over many things. Let's go to 29. 29. For unto everyone that hath, this is a mystery in the kingdom, that when you have, it's a sign that you were a good manager and the reward is that he shall have what? Abundance of anything. Abundance here doesn't just talk of finance. Abundance of the anointing. Abundance of influence. Abundance of access to revelations. And then it says, but from him that hath, and is not faithful now, it says, even that which he had shall be taken away. It is not only Satan that takes things away. God too takes things away. Are we together now? Not every reduction is caused by demons. There are reductions that are a testimony. It's a report card from God to you that something is wrong with your stewardship. When God increases you, members rise today and mysteriously members just go down. Sometimes it could be that it's a message from God that I trusted you with 30 people and I observed your stewardship. Your stewardship does not merit multiplication. You rise in finances and then sometimes you just go down never to rise again. It could be a message that you need to upgrade on your stewardship. You rise in influence and all of a sudden you find out within a season all your helpers are no longer there. All the people whose voice, who, who listen to your voice and acknowledge your voice are no longer there. It could be a sign that you are abusing the privilege of stewardship. Are we together? The prayer that you need to pray in this season is for God to help you that whilst you are waiting for a supply of greater dimensions of his grace but that he grants you the fortitude to be faithful if God gives you 10 naira be faithful if God gives you one shoe polish it don't sit down running your eyes on every shoe and say don't worry except God is not my God I'm coming and and that shoe will say you are not coming this is not how to get me you get me by washing the one you have it's a rubber shoe, wash it. It's a 200 naira trouser, wash it. Are we together now? We live in a society that applauds people for living a fake life. That claps for people for jumping seasons. And as soon as they clap for you, and as frequent as they clap for you, that's the same way they will clap against you. Because every time you jump up you must go down but when you grow up you remain up the difference between jumping and growing is that you are still connected to your root when you jump you are suspended nothing backs you no support so you must come down when you grow up the tallest building in the world is still connected to the earth that's why it stands nothing suspended has an a, a, the ability to stay indefinitely when they send satellites to orbit the earth and orbit other planets and all of that after a time requirement because they are not connected to the earth they must be sent back planes don't fly indefinitely in the sky they get to a point where they must make contact with the earth again for some of you here this is your miracle service tonight the Lord is speaking to you. You are living a fake life. Go back to the basics. Let me tell you this. Don't ever generalize success. Just because everybody around you is successful does not mean you are successful. Go back and learn the principles. Corporate success is deception. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? We are all successful. A day will come, life will separate you and you stand as an individual and it will be a test of your values. Whether or not, it's like a defense, the way students do defense. You will need to defend and validate your success. Any door God has not opened for me, I'm not under pressure to go. Because when he opens it, he will open it in honor. Do you know if God does not open a door, your tenacity can force that door to open. That you forced a door and it opened. A man can go around with complimentary cards. I'm a man of God. 
I'm a gospel artist. In fact, you've not had anything like you just invite me and watch what happens. You can go around and out of the 1,000 invitations you beg for, you may get one or two or three or four and you call it increase. You see, when you open the door by yourself, you have to keep it open by yourself. But when God opens it, God, when he opens it, he keeps it by his own hand. The hands that lifted me will uphold me to the end. I will not be afraid. There is a hand that lifted me, will uphold me to the end. I will not be. Hallelujah. Years ago, I had a conversation. We we're about to pray with a gentleman, and he asked me a very honest question. He said, Apostle, I've come for Koinonia and I've seen the crowds of people. And he asked a question. He said, Can you reproduce these results? And I said, That's not me to answer. You are asking time, not me. Keep watching. And I think two weeks ago, he sent me a text. You know, just joking. I'm, I'm just saying it. And he's just sent a text. And he said, Apostle, you are dangerous. I said, I'm not dangerous. The laws of God are dangerous. It is not me. It is the laws of God. Whoever will keep these truths, it will work for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if you are afraid of yourself, trust his laws. And watch them shock you. And make a wonder out of your life. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. In a few minutes now, we're going to begin to pray. And many of you will stand and watch your life change as if it's magic. It is not just because a man who is anointed is standing before you. There is a system in the kingdom. We make our boast first in the Lord and then in the power of his might. His might, the power of his might, the power that is released when his laws operate those who don't understand will look at these things and think it's boasting it's not boasting it's true the predictability of god's principles hallelujah i challenge you today that much more than the miracles you are receiving you must trust god to go back and say lord teach me your ways we reign in this kingdom we're about to pray now i want to show you a very dangerous scripture that god opened my eyes to brothers and sisters if god does not open your eyes to see how a thing works you may never know do you know that in every challenge that you have right now a way of escape is there but it takes god to open your eyes psalm 77 turn there let me show you something psalm 77 and verse 19 psalm 77 verse 19 give us from amplified if it's possible lion of judah my trust is in you alpha and omega my trust is in you i am that i am my trust is in you tonight i put them on you my trust is in you it says your way in delivering your people was through the sea listen carefully the same sea that was an obstacle it said their way of escape was inside that water inside that trouble it says and your paths through the great waters how can you be in trouble and god says in that trouble that's where your answer is but it takes your eyes to see it god hides a formula in your pain and keeps it there until revelation opens you to it it says your way of delivering your people was through the sea the same sea he said that your paths through the water yet you pass through it and cover it and nobody can trace your footsteps. This one, give us King James again. It will take revelation for you to know how can I look at a water 
challenges and great waters he said thy way is in the sea in that rent challenge is a formula that can make you a landlord but it will take the spirit of revelation in that sickness that brought you to koinonia is hidden a mystery that can bring you into the healing anointing it says thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known god what kind of god are you you do something and cover it so no man can just look and say ah I, ah. but when he opens your eyes all of a sudden you will discover that so the water can part i never knew and all of a sudden there will be dry ground and you walk to it and the egyptians will think and god will cover it and say i don't open it for everybody it is a way but not for everybody are we together these are some of the deep mysteries about the anointing sometimes you see me give you instructions that don't make sense shout jesus keep quiet it does you will try it and it won't work it's a mystery there is a way in it there is a pathway that when god opens your eyes to the systems of the kingdom then you can see things that don't make sense and make wonders out of them god is speaking to someone here that the prayer you are praying the answer is already within your environment all it takes is for your eyes to see Hagar was punished by Sarah. The Bible says she was in the wilderness dying of test. The young lad cried to heaven. When an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw an oasis bringing water. The water was there but her eyes could not see. The ways of God. And let me tell you, this is why we come to, how, to the house of God. Because there is something about the corporate gathering of God. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Go ahead and read. Thy ways, O God, where is it? Is found in your sanctuary. When we come here, it says in your sanctuary, in your house, you have, you have ordained a place that when we meet, you will show us a way. When God put this miracle service and called this ministry and put all of these things, it's not just a ritual. There is a mystery about the sanctuary he has ordained. That every time you come before God, he must open a way. So don't carry your challenges and come and you are wondering and say, I went to every church. I don't know what the church you went to believe. But in this sanctuary, there is a way there is a way i dare to tell you there is a way man of god i have been in i've gone everywhere with all due respect i don't know where you went to but there is a way in the sanctuary solomon dedicated a place and said lord let me tie a covenant to this sanctuary if any man prays and turns this direction not for the sake of their faith for the covenant in this place answer them when they were about to kill daniel in the days of that of, of nebuchadnezzar daniel opened the gate and faced jerusalem he, he was afraid he couldn't depend on his faith he opened the door and said lord i engage the covenant that covenant that solomon made with the temple in jerusalem it is not only a man that can bring miracles a place can be anointed to birth miracles it was in a place that jacob went to sleep he never met a man but he met a place and that night the heavens were open and he saw a ladder that connected the heavens he said this is the house of god this is the gates of heaven tonight i want to stir up faith many of you have come you have made sacrifices pastor femi thank you thank you so so much praise the lord many of you have come from several places you have made sacrifices please don't come here wasting your time and don't come here wondering let's see what god will do already i can answer you you won't get anything already let me let me be honest with you because god is not a magician but there are people that come here determined and say lord i have seen you in this place i can't go back this way that something must shift in my life something must change in my life 
not all of you may be trusting God for sickness for healing you know but many of us are trusting God for one thing or the other I'd like you to believe there is a way in the sea I bring you a word there is a way this kingdom operates by mysteries the Bible says there is no temptation given but that which is common to man you are not the first to have house rent issue you are not the first to have financial issues listen carefully you are not the first to have academic issues you are not the first to have excuse me spiritual issues you are not the first but though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. That's a part of this song I like. Though we are few, there are witnesses. There are people who have been healed. There are people who God changed their lives overnight. There may not be many, but they are on earth. Testifiers of his faithfulness. As a testament that if God did it before, he can do it again and this is the song it is our confidence in God and our confidence in his ways that gives us the audacity to gather people and say come he will change you without the presence of God and access to the ways of God we are we are scammers we are not we are not just liars we are scammers why do you gather people and tell them come we dare you to come we call a solemn assembly not only because we know god by the privilege of his grace we have found grace with him and he has made us stewards of the mysteries ephesians chapter 3 this will be the last scripture ephesians chapter 3 verse 2 from verse 2 it says if ye have heard paul is speaking of the dispensation of grace of the grace of God which is given me to you what for your sake how that by revelation verse 3 he made known unto me how did Paul know it by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when you read another word is whereby when you experience it you may know the basis ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ verse 5 a mystery that has been hidden in other ages let me tell you some of the things we are doing although they are spiritual although they are biblical they are mysteries that have been hidden they are there the same way many people swam through the Red Sea although there was a way it took a generation of men to be open to that mystery there are many mysteries that control results that have not been routed by many but the bible says that in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets how by the spirit by the spirit it was a revelation that god gave me that people write their requests and come and drop here it's not something that i copied from anywhere it's a revelation stupid though but look at the testimonies that have come out from it are we blessed now god's servant bishop david oyedeko was given the revelation of feet worship a revelation that had not been known to anybody people read it and all of a sudden the testimonies that come out of it people had communion people take communion in orthodox churches and different churches and just take it even while they are drunk but somebody came with a light about communion and all of a sudden people take communion now and cancers just die there are mysteries brothers and sisters there are many people that never knew that the house of god is powerful praise the lord are we together so you must understand 
that God in this season wants to shift you but you won't just shift you just by saying shift there are mysteries tonight I bring you a word there is a way in the sea hallelujah there is a way there is a way there is something God can do about your finances there's something God can do about your family situation you left fire on the mountain and came back you wait until the Red Sea parts and God will rubbish Pharaoh tonight in your presence rise up on your feet begin to thank the Lord for what you have heard tonight Cry for the grace to be faithful. Go ahead. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Lord, grant me the grace to be faithful. Grant me the grace to stay as you lift me. Grant me the grace not to rush seasons in my life grant me the grace grant me the grace hallelujah just pray one prayer lord change my story visit me tonight lift your voice and pray pray with faith change my story visit me visit me tonight hallelujah tonight is an unusual service because time has gone we're going to be very very fast very very fast at that um, like I told us we're going to start praying for the sick we'll start by praying for the sick and um, now this is how we're going to do it because of because of those of you outside don't worry you don't worry wherever you are you will be attended to are we together you will be attended to so hold on before i ask the people to come you don't have to just cooperate with the ushers if they need you to do anything just just it's a temporary inconvenience we're doing this just to be able to manage time and to do all that we have to do hallelujah praise the lord now please hold on let's let's not be distracted those of us who are trusting God for healing is a miracle service it's not just limited to healing but we're going to pray for the sick now now we're going to do this very fast and um, please those that will be ministering let's let's do it very fast it's not in how long listen let me tell you something about the anointing it's not just in how long you are touched or the frequency just a touch is enough for the anointing the same way a small drug can step into your body and that's it the wonders are done i'd like you to believe god to touch you change your life whether it's a blood disease whatever it is let's agree with you hallelujah we'll do that very very fast while we are doing that please um if you have come with your requests ushers um please help them pr department you can join them protocol let's just join and see how we can make this very fast so that at the same time we are collecting the prayer requests remember it's not a ritual um when it's time when they come to you you can hand over the request if you are yet to write yours you can quickly do that those online following us from whatever nation you can just connect your requests are already there and we're praying the power of god will touch it there too hallelujah praise the lord please i like you to be very intentional i know that most times we do this at the miracle services but be careful lest you make a ritual out of this and then at the same time waste your time i have seen the power and the glory of god um, upon my life and upon this ministry 
in in ways that that are humbling in ways that are powerful expect a testimony please refuse that you're not going back the way you came no matter what the medical situation is remember i told you there is a way in the sea there is a way hallelujah when i do that um we'll finish it and then we can now minister deliverance and just prophesy so that we are able to make time praise the lord father we are gathered tonight by your wisdom and your power lord we're about to minister to those who are sick and lord we trust your power to heal we trust your power to heal to the uttermost in the name of jesus anoint my hands anoint every man and woman of god who will be ministering to the sick let there be the hearing of faith let there be the walking of miracles do this and glorify yourself in the name of jesus christ praise the lord uh, father we give you all the praise let your power flow let miracles begin in this place we give you all the praise we give you all the honor in the name of jesus christ i pray amen please make sure that while you submit your prayer request be in the attitude of prayer if i were you i'll be praying in the spirit don't be distracted just because we are taking our time to pray for the sick god bless you deserve the glory and the honor so we lift our hearts and worship as we bless your holy name yes you deserve the glory the honor yes lord we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great yes there is no one else There is no one else like you Yes, you are great And you do miracles so great Oh, there is no one else like you Oh, there is no one else like you Saying you deserve the glory, say you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, and the honor. So we lift our hands, so we lift our hands and worship as we praise. As we praise oh, 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 yes, you deserve the glory. worship tonight so we lift our hands and worship as we pray your holy name give you your the You are great. You 
sing, there is no one else, Lord. There is no
Great are the name Fade away Shut up.
everyone say after me in the name of Jesus we are praying now please we are praying say in the name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that every force from the pit of hell standing against my lifting tonight I challenge you lift your voice and begin to pray everyone Every force, every force, nothing will stop your lifting. This is a season of lifting in the name of Jesus. Every song shall be broken. You were the victor's crown. Say in the name of Jesus, every recurrent pattern in my life right now, I declare you destroyed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Challenge every recurrent pattern by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every recurrent pattern in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern. In the name of Jesus, say after me in the name of Jesus, every dimension of grace apportioned for me tonight, I declare that I must step into it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every dimension of grace, every dimension of grace, Kabala Koshabala Rama Shedamala Navarro to Sopra de Galia, Navarro to Sopra de Galia. Every dimension, Nekatabara Kato Shababa Balata, Harote Sedeke Negos. Make sure you are praying every dimension, every dimension, every dimension. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, let your fire fall upon my life, upon my family, and destroy every planting that is not of God. Lift your voice and pray. Let your fire, the visitation of your fire, the visitation of your fire upon my life. Upon my life, pray. Shake it back at all. Back at all. Embrato Shabarakotes. Let your fire fall. Skabata Katoka Shake it. Balada Kata. Upon my life, let your fire bring a separation. lift your hands I'm about to pray for you now we are never doing the same thing every time I rebuke devils there are lives and destinies 
that are under the yokes of darkness it's time for the devil to give up are we together are you ready to shout that name that is above all names let me tell you i want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder working power of god in your life at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time i'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire, the fire of the spirit. Bring them up, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, every altar and everything, every high thing that is not of God, I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. hallelujah i think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of jesus i'm praying now i'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i'm seeing i'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up lord where are they i stretch my hands may the visitation of fire Open destinies now. Shake it to katakata. Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Inside, outside. Open destinies now. Open destinies now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a horn and I'm seeing fire burning it. Please be sensitive. This is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families. He said in Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18, What seest thou? He said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, so that no man does lift his head. He said, But I have sent four carpenters. Lift your heads. I'm praying right now. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is falling on people inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, anyone here, Shabo Sekatos Kabariakata under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the Lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah i tell you all i see is just fire that's what i'm seeing every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now
by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one I'm seeing three people I'm praying now I know because of time we can't let you come in but I'm seeing three people two are ladies one is a gentleman this prayer is for you there is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming overflow one on people outside the Lord is bringing massive deliverance barrenness is a dangerous thing listen whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time because it cannot grow it cannot multiply Jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of Jesus I'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that Satan has rendered barren I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree and declare be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness hallelujah Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi. Um, I may not, maybe I may just talk to one or two people. Kemi, you are wearing red. It's like, it's a guy called Kemi. Who is that? You are wearing red. What's your name? Uh -uh, I didn't, I'm saying, this is, I'm saying, I know that Kemi is a lady's name. It's not a guy. I will pray for you. It's your hunger. This is, you are wearing red. What's your name? Your name is Kemi. Yes, sir. You are wearing red. I'll pray for you. But gentlemen, you are here. There is a hunger that you carry. Listen, you came from ah, uh, I'm seeing Cross River. Where? Yeah? Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. You yes, came. Sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You came because of a hunger. Yes, sir. To truly get an anointing. Yes, sir. But you see, this message I preach was for you. Yes, sir. You heard what I'm saying? Yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works. The Lord Himself, He will give you an anointing, but He will give you direction. What you need is an encounter with the word and direction, but you will never go back the same. Receive that anointing a new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of God is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of God is upon your life but tonight as a token the Spirit of God is visiting you whether you know it or not Lord where are they I stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of God is upon your life 
for your destiny in the area of the fivefold. I declare, let the anointing of the Spirit locate you. As it locates you, the Lord begins to prepare you. Where are they? Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Abaraka toka 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 ta. Shabenda salaba seketa subria katali katosh. Hallelujah. There is a dangerous spirit. Our time is up. Hold on. But there is a spirit that I want to rebuke now. I just saw written in the air rejection. Hold on. Many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you. You stand, you are watching and an opportunity come. Rejection is not just a state, it's a spirit. Lift your hands. Don't pray, don't do anything, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. That's the instruction the Lord is giving me. Just lift your hands, just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised now. There are people, it's like a yoke. I'm seeing like cowries, these cowries that they use. That's what I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as the power of God is smashing that rubbish, that's how many people who have been despised, been despised. The Bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you. It says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Right now I stretch my hands from the front to the back. Overflow one, two, three, the roadside and online. If there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection, right now, in the name of Jesus, in this silence, may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance. Right now, I'm praying, it's happening right now. Taking away that spirit from your life. Please be sensitive. We are doing a quick walk. Rejection, rejection, rejection. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Rejection. I command that spirit to leave. I'm still praying. I command that spirit to leave. I command that spirit to leave. Alongside with this, there are people. Bad luck. Good things must always turn to evil when it, hold, when it enters your hand. No matter what it is. If they give you money, something must go bad. A good opportunity it must be destroyed. You enter a relationship, something must happen. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Makos Kabara Katosh Kele Katosiata. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege, here at this miracle service, fire, 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 fire. I release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back, inside, outside. I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. Keep your hands lifted and pray. Mighty things are happening in the spirit. I ask us to pray a prayer that the Lord put in my heart. Patterns. I'm still seeing it again. There are some of you, the same thing happens to every member of your family. At certain seasons, everything must happen. Either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct. You must have a child before you get married. Or something, someone will rape you. Someone raped your mother. Someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Lord, I pray that as your people shout that name, every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now hallelujah the spirit of delay god is taking delay from someone's life that's what i'm seeing god is taking delay i'm seeing it going delay 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 not everybody but i'm seeing god is it will surprise you after this miracle service the kind of speed that your life will enter 
delay. Hallelujah. My dear, come. This come. This your first time here. Where are you coming from? You're coming from Abuja. Yes, I want to pray for you. You had the prayer I just said we should pray. Yes. That prayer was was for you. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? There is a spirit of delay that must live your life. You are a great lady, but I see delay. Come. It's a demonic spirit. And if you are not delivered and you get up and go to Abuja just like that, it will be as if you did not come before the presence of God. But I lay my hands upon your head. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of delay, I call you by name. Let this lady go now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, go now. Live her life forever. In the name of Jesus. That lady wearing lime cloth, you, this one, come quickly, please. Look at me. Salvation has come to your family. The month of June. Look at me. The month of June, I'm prophesying by the Spirit, is the month for your family. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's changing everything. Everything completely by the Spirit of the living God. He's changing everything by the Spirit of the living God. He's changing everything by the Spirit of the living God. I'm hearing a name, Doris. I'm hearing a name Doris Doris who is Doris I'm hearing a name Doris Doris are you Doris your name is Doris I'm going to pray for you your name too is Doris that's your baby I will pray for you look at me look at me shout Jesus My dear look at me witchcraft i'm stretched the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands in front of you i stretch my hands and i declare i'm seeing an altar catching fire in the name of jesus christ i declare it by the spirit i stretch my hands that's what the lord is saying i should do i stretch my hands it catches fire now oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Doris, look at me. Where are you coming from? From Congo. From Congo. Hold my hands. Say shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Is taken from my life. Is taken from my life. Forever. Forever. Say it again. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Victory belongs to Jesus. Shame and reproach is taken from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Shame and reproach is taken. Hold on, I'm not done with that. I decree and declare that shame and reproach is taken from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father has not been paid for 11 years. I'm seeing, I don't know what the condition is, but I'm seeing at, at 11 years or so, your father has not been paid. It's something they have been pursuing. Please make sure you are honest. Who is that? Come. Your dad, where is he? He's in Lagos. You too? Where is he? Do you believe that if I pray for you, a miracle will happen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we make it happen by the Spirit of the living God. I decree and declare that between now and the next 90 days, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all coming? Your parents. 
no don't I, if, if i pray most of you is not it's not that word you are just coming just because you want it may be related in the name of jesus i'm i'm just praying for you as i'm touching you you see let me let me tell you something brothers and sisters you see this touch you see this touch just this touch you see there is power in it it's just that we are very carnal people do you understand after service you can hug me and jump on me but now what is on me is what makes this touch different you see that you can you can have it is not just a touch maybe a touch for jamboree no 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 you can i can lay my hands on you right and then something can come upon you i can lay my hands upon you and then your life will change sometimes you see me just speak and you think it as as i pray like this you see watch your life and see what it becomes are, are you getting what i'm saying now that's 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 the point the word of god that you can't see it does not mean it's not resting on you when it rests on you like a hen over her, her the eggs it will stay there until there is a performance this thing you see is not just power it's authority it's authority there is authority in the spirit it's not just, just sit down and we keep watching I, be, just the fact that you are here within this vicinity alone let me tell you whether you are inside or outside your life will never never be the same if i never get to touch you speak to you like this the word of god carries the anointing hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.